What's going on everybody? Welcome to Beyond the Screen. It's your girl Jasmine. This video, I'm coming to you from our new venue. No more being outside. Not sure how this room is gonna sound. Might be kind of echoey. If you follow me on Snapchat, you can see where I am. Neither here nor there. We're inside now, because it's freezing outside, and I don't have time. If I'm all bundled up in videos, you guys aren't gonna be able to understand what I'm talking about. But in this video, we are talking about the challenge, Champs vs. Stars, episode two. Tio is in his feelings about Corey. Now, what up, be on the screen? Salmon? Salmon. Is it how many ounces? The whatever the full portion the is. The biggest is, uh -huh. with what to side? What side? Do I have like veggies? Do they have like a mix? I can do ask. they do seasonal mixed veggies or something? They have an answer to it. Okay, I'll do veggies and then like a loaded baked potato. Loaded baked potato. Yeah, and I'll do whatever the smaller portion of the salmon is. It's fine. Okay, salmon loaded baked potato. No, potatoes. which is the veggies because it comes with rice. It's a lot of carbs. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Ordering longhorn. What were we talking about? Tio. He's in his feelings. Last week during the challenge, one of the balls got loose and Tio was like, you know what? I'm gonna be nice, I'm gonna pick up one of Corey's balls and I'm gonna throw it to him. So he picked up the ball, hey Corey, here's his ball. Corey said, man, fuck you, T.O. That was rude, kind of unnecessary. Whatever, it's all fun and games. He's like, that's why you won't lose, Corey. And guess what? Corey lost and Corey went home. Let it go, who cares? No, we're still talking about it this week. And because Corey did what he did, T.O. feels like he's lost all respect. I don't got any respect for those champs. Hey. You're a girl. I need you to relax. <laughs> like, stop. Just so emotional for no reason. It's really not that big of a deal. It was a ball, and I don't understand why you hate the whole team because of that. But whatever. You decide, is this my team? We ain't gonna be friends with that side of the team? Cool. That's your prerogative. Move on. My darling sweet Jenna. <laughs> Poor Jenna. I'm sad that she hurt herself. She ended up hurting herself during the challenge, so we'll get to that. But why she was even talking about her and Zach mending or whatever is cool after she's admitted that, like, for him, it seems like it's an out of sight, out of mind type of thing when it comes to her. Like, when she's around, it's all great and they're the best of friends. And when she's not around, he's sleeping with other females. Now, what I've already said is what's cool about Zach is like he admits that he sucks and that he doesn't deserve Jenna at all, which, which breaks my heart is that she just, I don't know. I don't know how far it goes between. It's like, oh, it's so awesome. She's sweet. She's such a kind-hearted person. Or Jenna, you're stupid. I love her, and I hope she moves on and really finds a guy that's gonna treat her right. Take care of that ankle, girl. Told you guys before, I'm sensitive when it comes to the ankle injuries. One of my best friends broke her ankle and just had so many different surgeries for it. It was just an awful process, so it just like, it makes me sad because somebody very close to me has dealt with that before, so I feel really bad for her. Prayers up for Jenna. The challenge that Jenna ended up hurting herself in was really dope, though. It was like, <laughs> what did they say? Capture the flag with like tag and like hide and go seek. They had to do like parkour. <laughs> One person got to go from one team, so like a champ would get to go and they have a five second head start and then the star would have to come and get them. Now while the champ's going, they gotta be snatching flags that are worth different points. One point, three points, the yellow ones worth five points. If you get tagged by the person on the other team, you're out and then however many points you have goes into your team's point pot. Thanks to CT and Bananas who scored a ridiculous amount of points, champs win. But they lost Jenna, she's gotta go home and have surgery. Now before that challenge even started though, CT told Tio, you know, hey, good luck man. Tio said, hey, I don't wanna have any interactions with any of you. We're not friends anymore. And I don't wanna talk to you. Leave me alone. CT was like, okay, yes sir. No more talking to you. You don't exist. Cool beans. Now, deliberation time comes for the LVPs and CT's like, but wait a minute, like what are we even talking about? We already lost Camilla, we lost Jenna, and now Ashley's talking about leaving because her dad's like dying. So he was just like, what's up? Like a lot of this stuff isn't under our control. Now I feel like that's just the risk you run in the game and being on a team, sometimes people suck and it just is what it is. But cool, you wanna ask a legitimate question as a vet, figure it out, no problem. T.O. jumps in and starts going like this. 
stop you're so ugly like why are you making that face at him like what is your problem you said that you didn't want anybody to have any interactions with you that you don't want to be friends with him no more and you don't want them to talk to you anymore and that's it why all of this what is all this for stop go away he irritates me so then it becomes this whole big old screaming match because I guess Tio thought that he was just gonna talk crap and CT wasn't gonna say anything. So CT says something, Tio says something. Then it just starts getting deeper and more crazy and CT ends up throwing Tio's bankruptcy in his face. Now I didn't blow 70 million dollars. <laughs> so Tio decided that <clears throat> he's gonna have to puff out his chest a little bit because they have the whole, it was like one of those things that everybody's like, ooh, ooh. Everybody in the room was just shocked. Everything just fell silent. Tio felt like he had to get up. CT stayed sitting down. Everybody's yelling. And then the episode goes off. I don't like Terrell Owens. I don't like him. I never have and I never will. His whole motto this episode is I don't have to prove anything to them. I'm a professional athlete on the highest of levels. I don't got nothing to prove. Okay, cool. Well, then stop saying that. Like, you don't got nothing to prove me. You don't need to say that you don't have anything to prove. But don't talk crap and say they suck and then they beat you in something and your response is, well, I don't have anything to prove. You know what I mean? Like, ugh. I just don't like him. T.O. needs to go. Ha. Hashtag bars. That's really it for this episode. I'm interested to see if it like goes to blows and they start like pushing and like, ugh. If they like actually fight, that would be really cool to see. Just like see it get like more than just a screaming match, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm sorry this video got to you guys late. I'm gonna do better. <laughs> I'm a work in progress. Love me through it. If you enjoyed this video, smack that like button. If you wanna see more videos from me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. As always, I love and appreciate each and every one of you. Until next time, God first, God bless.